Recently, I've been feeling a little bit burnt out and out of balance. I struggle to switch off from work mode and honestly have forgotten how to relax. So I've come to the realization that when I feel like this, I need to ground myself by spending time outside, disconnecting from my phone, reading a book, making recipes and just spending time with loved ones. So join me for a few days as I navigate my thoughts and feelings and learn how to properly rest and recharge. Welcome back to a new vlog everyone. I always start off the week with the intention of doing a weekly vlog and it just it doesn't seem to happen for me. I feel like Mondays are my day for editing and I honestly don't even move. I'm just like trying to like get things done super fast. Tuesdays I seem to have editing to do as well. I'm getting like the remainder of stuff done before uploading and sometimes I'll have like content to shoot and things. And then on Wednesdays, I don't know what I'm doing, but I just feel like often I don't end up starting vlogging till Thursday. So today's Thursday, welcome back. And I guess I'm just gonna film the next couple of days and I've got quite a few life updates to share with you guys. So hopefully this can be like a nice catch up vlog and we can just spend the weekend together as well. It'll just be fun to hang out with you guys and we'll see where the vlog takes us. But I did want to start off this video with a mini White Fox Boutique try on haul. So I'm really excited to be sharing some more pieces with you guys. So if you watched my last video, you will have seen that I did a video where I recreated Pinterest outfits and that was in collaboration with White Fox. And I'm just so thankful to be able to work with White Fox on a regular basis. So I've got a mini haul for the start of this video as well. And I just wanted to take a sec to say thank you so much to you guys for your support. And I guess for using my code and just continuing to support me because that allows me to work with brands like White Fox who I absolutely adore. And I'm just thankful for White Fox for working with me on a regular basis as well. So anyway, with that being said, I'm going to get into doing a mini try on. All of the outfits will be linked down below as usual, including my sizes and stuff. And you guys know that my discount code is just LRWF if you want to get 15% off. Yeah, I'm going to go grab all the outfits now and I'll show you what they look like. Okay, first of all, I've got this dress to share with you guys. It's a little pink strapless number with cherries on it. It's so cute. I love little casual dresses like this. That you can just chuck on. It's really comfy and it's got like little seams that run across it. So this is going to be just like a really nice casual dress to chuck on. So I also got another little strapless dress that just looks like this. It's like a purple base and then it's got like these little zigzags through it in different colors. I'm just loving these little strapless dresses. I just think they're so comfy to chuck on and perfect for the warm weather. It's been so hot lately, I swear. This March weather has been more like January weather. It's really, really weird. It feels like a literal summer right now. And then this is the final strapless dress I picked up. I really went with a theme in this haul, but I really like the fabric. It's made out of this crochet material. Love the sage color and you can easily tighten this bow just to make it fit you however you like. So yeah, I think this is a really cute little summery dress. I feel like this is such a me dress. I love a little white dress. I'm sure I've said it many times before, but this is just so feminine. I love it. These sleeves are just so, so cute. And then I love how it tailors in a little bit around the waist. Super flattering. And I just love dresses like this. This is such a belle from Beauty and the Beast dress. I love the color and the satin fabric is so shiny. It just looks so pretty with the yellow. And then this lace detailing down the bottom is super pretty. I'm seeing a lot more lace lately. It's very on trend at the moment to wear lace. And I also just love how it tailors in around the waist again, which is always super flattering. So super pretty. I think I'll wear this out for like a nice dinner or something. Okay, this dress is so different for me. 
but I love it. I'm literally obsessed with it. It's very different to what I expected it to be like. And it actually sits really nice and flattering on my body shape. I love this like little cutout detailing and it just fits perfectly. It's really, really nice and fitted to my body. Love like the little off the shoulder feature. And the skirt part is like the perfect length. It doesn't feel too restrictive and it's also not too fitted at the same time. Like it's super, super comfy. This is what it looks like from the back. Obsessed. I really, really like this. Next we have this cute little corset top. I love pink at the moment. Not sure why I go through phases with my favorite colors to wear, but pink is a current fave. And it's just like this corset that comes lower down at the front and then it's higher at the back. Love like the low V cut neckline and it's got like a cute little back actually. It's got like a little cutout as you can see. And then I've just paired it with some new jeans. I decided it was about time to get some new white fox jeans. I just got these ones. This is my favorite color to get. I love their light wash. <laughs> These are just like a straight leg style, a little bit more baggy, and I just get so much wear out of my other ones that I decided to get another pair. So yeah, I know I'll be wearing these all the time, especially when it starts to cool down a bit. But yeah, I like the combination of the top and the jeans together, but I definitely could dress this top up with like a cute little low-waisted skirt or something like that as well. I know I was literally just saying a second ago how hot it is at the moment, but I couldn't resist picking up a hoodie. I am so ready for it to be trackies weather again. I know I'm gonna regret saying that. Oh, I've got something on my lip. But yeah, I'm just so excited to be able to wear like cozy clothes and I had to get a new hoodie because it's been a while. In winter, I literally live in this kind of stuff. And since, since the cooler weather's not too far away, I thought it was about time to get one. I just love the pink. The little hoodie's super, super cute. It's just so cozy. And then as you can see, it says white fox. It's embroidered on here. Super nice. And then I'm just wearing that with the jeans. I think this top is so cool. So as you can see, it's almost like a cropped a little blazer style of top. And it has a little buckle here, so it's not gonna come undone, but then you can also like tie this around. This top is really different to anything I own as well. I've just paired it with my jeans right now, which looks really nice, but I think it would also look really cool with some pants, like either low-waisted ones or even high-waisted would work as well. I could just see myself wearing it with some like more tailored pants to like an event or something. And I think it would look really, really cool. Let me give you guys a look at the back. I'll come up a little closer so you guys can see, but such a unique top. At the same time though, I don't feel like super exposed in it, even though it is like showing a little bit more skin. I feel like this outfit's a good representation of something I would wear if I just wanna dress really casual and comfy, but at the same time, I don't wanna wear active wear. So I just got some new denim shorts. Love the length of these. I feel like they're a little bit longer and kind of a bit more of like a baggier style. And as you can see, they're a little bit distressed at the bottom. I get a size large in like the denim from White Fox if I get some like denim shorts or denim jeans, they'll be a large. And then I just got this tank top, which is super fitted. It's this really nice, like compressing kind of fitted material. It feels super soft and it's just like a really nice basic to have in your wardrobe. So this is a really nice outfit that will definitely be a staple. And this is the final outfit, another super comfy one. Again, I really like this style of tops. I've actually got this one in the gray and I've been wearing it all the time. It's been like one of my go-to tops that I've been wearing to my acting course, which is where I like love to wear comfy clothes, I feel like, but still want to look a bit more put together at the same time. So yeah, I really, really like this top. So since I wore the gray top so much, I decided to get the tan one and I'm really happy with it. And then I've just paired it with these cargo pants, which are a little bit big for me. I think they're really cool. And I love the fact that I've got some white cargo pants now because I didn't own any, but I do think a size down would fit a lot better. So they are meant to be baggy, but they're just probably a little bit too baggy for me. But this is what they look like. Love having some different types of pants to wear other than jeans. But this is what the pants look like from the side. So yeah, I wish they were a little bit smaller, but love this outfit overall. I hope you guys enjoyed that mini haul to start off the vlog. Again, I'm super, super grateful to be able to do these hauls for you guys. But if you want to pick up anything from White Fox, my discount code is LRWF to get 15% off. I'll have all of the items in my description box. But yeah, I'm going to tidy away my clothes now because after filming these hauls, I always get clothes 
everywhere. Like I end up making the biggest mess. I'll check in with you guys in a bit. Saturday. Brayden and I are out today. We're gonna go down the coast and just have a really chill day. I've been needing a day off, I feel like, for a really long time. And yesterday, yesterday, I literally just did like a little montage of the morning and then I didn't even vlog the day because mm. I ended up going to my family's house and just chilling out there all day. And it was like so, so needed because. I don't know I feel like I've been a bit imbalanced lately and I feel like I've been spending so much time working on work that I haven't really even had time to like see my family and things like that you haven't seen them in a few weeks yeah so yesterday I decided to spend the whole day with them which was really really nice and it's not even intentional it's just like I've been busy and I know like a few weeks is not that bad but I just was like oh I don't feel like myself and I don't feel like I'm not making time for the things that I want to make time for so yeah I'm inevitably feeling a bit burnt out and I just I just feel like I need a holiday and like you know when you get to that point where you're craving a holiday that like you need to chill out so Brayden and I were like okay this weekend we don't have too much on so we're gonna try and treat today like we're in Hawaii well that's what I said anyway because when we were in Hawaii like our routine was we'd get up go get a coffee go get breakfast go down to the beach and just chill at the beach all day. No, the plan was no plan. The plan was no plan. And I think I need to become okay with no plan. Like I'm not okay with no plan a lot of the time and that stresses me out. But like today's plan is no plan, but I do have a rule for myself today, right? Mm. My rule today is to keep my screen time under two hours. <laughs> Wait, like, what, what is it today? What is that? Actually, already knocked off like half an hour. No, wait, let's have a look. Yeah, I have. Ella like average is like, I reckon like five hours a day. No, more than that. More than that. <laughs> Definitely. But yeah, I really just want to be present, not be on my phone. I'm not on my phone when I'm with people though. That's the thing. And because I haven't really been with people, been on my phone. Because I work on my phone, you know. <laughs> He can't relate, you don't I, I do the same thing. Relate, yeah, no. but like, that's what's so good about our relationship though. Like you have a completely different mindset and world. And so I feel like we bring out different sides of each other. <laughs> you ground me. I ground you. Yeah, you do. Cause you know, I don't like, touch my phone. No, I don't know. I just feel like you're outside of the social media world. Oh. Which is quite nice sometimes. So that's my rule for the day. I want to try and keep my screen time under two hours and we're just gonna have a relaxing day. So we've got our coffee, which apparently isn't the best, but you know, <laughs> it happens. And I don't know which beach we're gonna go to, but I think we're gonna go for a little walk, swim, just make the most of this like summer weather. So we're currently stuck in traffic and we've got talking about like ideas for when we potentially go over to Europe. We're wanting to go over to Europe at the end of September, start of October, which I know is like a bit more of like a off-peak off season. Yeah, a lot of people go in summer or in winter, but it's Brayden, like in between. Yeah, and I mean, it might work in our favor, honestly. It might be a little bit more affordable. But the reason that we're thinking of going over in that time is because Brayden's family might be doing like a little reunion over in like Croatia. Not that you're Croatian, just to clarify. But, <laughs> <laughs> but like your... Um, Canadian extended family thinking of doing like a bit of a reunion over there. Yeah. So we were like, that would be really fun. And we're thinking if we go over there, then we'll like do a few other places. But I just wanted to ask if you guys have been over to Europe in October or like just in general and done more of like, I guess a summary trip, where do you recommend? Is like there any tips that you have or is there like a particular order that you say we should do things in? At the moment we, this is like a hypothetical list as well. Like we've just been, hypothetical. yeah, it is. And also we've just been writing down a bunch of places that we want to go, but we probably won't do all of these places in one trip. Also, by the way, it's 11, 11 right now, but we've written down Croatia, Santorini, 
Milos. Oh, I want to know which Greek islands are the best ones to go to because I've heard that like Mykonos is more of like a party island and as much as I like love the idea of going there, um, I think I'd rather go somewhere that's not a party island. Also in that, like, I feel like there's more to see. Yeah, there's right? more to see. I agree. But I've but heard maybe I'm Mi wrong Milos too. is beautiful, apparently. Milos is one of the islands. It's really nice. Mm. But yeah, where are your favorite islands? Um, we've also got Rome, Florence, Amalfi Coast, Venice, uh, the south of France, like Nice, Portugal, Spain, uh, London Island, Scotland, and Turkey. <laughs> That's a long list. That's a massive uh, list. <laughs> but so, we would be cut down to like four or five places. Yeah, oh, and we're thinking of going for four weeks. <laughs> so. If someone wants to help us come up with an itinerary for four weeks <laughs> for October, that would be greatly appreciated. <laughs> but yeah, it's so fun. It's so fun just brainstorming. I was saying to Brayden, maybe we can even go to like a travel agency or something at some point and just like tell them our ideas and they can help us like figure out the best way to do it. Because that's what we did when we went to Europe in the winter time. It was quite helpful. We did. We booked a lot ourselves, but at the same time we got them yeah. to sort of... Um... We got the best route in regards to flights and where to yeah. go. Like the Because it makes a difference. Like yeah. just flying to one country over another, like to start off your trip, like can make such a difference. Um, so I'm thinking maybe we'll do that. Anyway, that's what we're doing to kill time. We're almost there. We're going to Bulai, by the way. That's where we're gonna go. We're gonna go for a quick little walk and a swim. <laughs> just woken up from a nap oh my goodness I was so tired <laughs> I don't know what's got into me but I think the fact that I've given myself like a mental break made me really really exhausted so I came home and I had to have a sleep but I'm going out to my friend Jess's tonight because we're having like a girls night which will be really really fun and yeah it's been a while since we've done like a girls night with everyone so I'm really looking forward to seeing everyone and Jessie's sister Tilly is going to be there but I just had to quickly wash my hair, get the salt out. We had a really nice morning in Bulai though. We just went for a walk, quick swim. I did some reading. It was just like very chill, but yeah, very much needed. Complete side note, but I'm so excited because I'm getting my hair done. Well, I'm getting a haircut first of all on Tuesday. So I'll, I'll maybe vlog that, we'll see. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to just getting like a nice cut and I'm thinking I might get like a bit more like layers in it and stuff a bit more shape because I want a bit more of like that 90s blowout style cut and then I managed to get a color appointment at the start of April and I'm going to be changing my hair color again the copper is going to be no more which is the end of another era but I've loved being copper it definitely has faded so much since I went copper originally and look if I'm honest I'm not like the biggest fan of the color right now just because it is due a refresh um, it's gone much more of like a brassy color, but like a few people have commented about it like on videos and stuff Nobody to my face, but people have just been a bit rude and I just want to say like Why would you comment on someone else's appearance? Like it's not okay to do that I just I don't understand why people do that <laughs> It's a different thing like if I'm asking for your opinion and saying oh, what do you think I should do with my hair? But like just commenting out of nowhere just saying like, you think it looks really bad. I just think that's rude So anyway, I am getting my hair done and I'm really excited about that. But I just wanted to mention that because that really frustrated me. <laughs> but I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to do with my hair just yet. I'm going to leave that as a bit of a surprise. But I will say that like the copper isn't going to be there anymore. Speaking of hair, I really want to buy some curl cream and maybe some gel for my hair. Because I have pretty wavy hair naturally. And I actually think that if I styled it right, it would be a little bit more curly. And I know that it does have like a wave and a curl to it, even when I just like scrunch it when it's wet and let it air dry. So I'm really curious. I really want to try like the curly hair method where like you dunk it in a bowl and you scrunch in like the hair cream. If you have any hair cream recommendations, if you've got curly hair, please let me know because I want to get some. And I'm just, I'm curious to see how it looks because it might be a bit of a game changer. Like my mom has literally only just realized that she's got curly hair. So she's been diffusing it. She's always been like, oh, I've just got frizzy hair. 
and then now she's full on diffusing it and she's got like some ringlets. Anyway, tonight's gonna be fun. I'm excited to see little Lilo as well. My friend Jess has got the cutest little cavoodle, so I'm sure what will give her a lot of attention. So that'll be fun. <laughs> Always find your way to higher ground. May you always keep your head held up high. Pretty little thing, you're a diamond in the rough, shining from within. I can tell that you're tough. Just the sight of you when I'm at my weakest point. Makes a world of difference, oh, you make me strong Pretty little thing, you're a diamond in the rough Shining from within, I can tell that you're tough Good morning, actually, it's the afternoon <laughs> But it's Sunday and I think we're going to have another beach day today. I didn't vlog anything when I went to my friend's place last night. It was just one of those nights where we just were catching up and I was literally like, what would I even film? Like, we're literally just sitting here talking. I'm not going to film our conversation. And I just really wanted to be present and it was absolutely lovely. Anyway, I guess like going along with like the theme of what I was talking about yesterday, I've been really kind of like trying to focus on rest and yeah, just having some time off. And I know I'm vlogging this weekend, but yeah, it is my job to vlog. So I'm trying to find the balance between like filming things and then also resting. And I listened to a podcast this morning, actually. I'll tell you guys who it was by now. It's my first time listening to this podcast, but it was really, really good. The podcast is called The Hustle Sanely Podcast by Jess Macy. And I was just looking up podcasts about rest because I was just really curious to like hear more. And it's really inspired me actually. And I'm like, I might do a whole episode on it myself when I've done a bit more research. The episode was called How to Rest Even If You're Bad at Resting Now. And yeah, I really liked that. And I really loved learning about the seven different types of rest. And I've never really thought of it this way. So there's physical rest, mental rest, spiritual rest, emotional rest, sensory rest, social rest, and creative rest. And she just kind of went into detail about this and explained how you can think you're resting, but you might still feel tired because you're not getting the right type of rest. And it just got me really thinking about what I need right now. And I think I need mental rest. I think that's the main thing. And that's a real challenge for me personally, because with my job, I'm very blessed in the fact that it's very flexible and everything. But I also feel like the more effort I put in, the more I get out. And that is a limiting belief in a way, but it makes me not be able to switch off my brain. And I'm constantly like, I guess thinking of content ideas like I'm whenever I do anything with my life I'm like oh that could be content it's like I've rewired my brain and it's so hard to switch off that side of my brain sometimes and I enjoy what I do so I can't help doing that but sometimes I think it's literally overstimulation for me and it's been affecting my sleep I've talked about my sleep so many times in my YouTube videos, but I'm a very, very light sleeper and it affects me a lot when I don't get adequate sleep. And I think lately my brain's been so like overstimulated and yeah, so I'm kind of working on finding ways to stop that from happening. I actually posted on my Instagram story this morning asking you guys what you like to do for rest. I was just curious because yeah, I guess like I said before, everyone has different things that they need. A lot of people said reading, going to the beach, having a bath, watching YouTube. I love watching YouTube too. I feel like that's my escapism. And cause it's long form, you don't have to like think about changing to another video. Like you can just like fully zen out to it. A few of you guys also said like getting off my phone and putting my phone in another room and things like that. And that's so true. And I actually said yesterday to you guys, that I was gonna try and do two hours max of screen time on my phone and I managed to do that which was really good so I'm gonna try and do that again today and just kind of like minimize it and just set some more boundaries for my weekends and just make sure I schedule in that rest time I think that's another thing that stops us all from resting is the fact that we don't schedule it in I know I don't really anyway I'll schedule in my social plans and things like that over the weekend but I don't really like plan ahead and go okay like you need to rest so that's something I kind of want to start doing a little bit more because I've 
really come to realize now how important it is for my overall productivity and my mental state. So here is your reminder that sometimes the most productive thing you can do is rest. You know, it's really good to be productive and do all of this personal development stuff, read the self-help books and try pushing yourself out of your comfort zone. That is all amazing, but it means nothing if you don't take rest and it, it's just going to set you back otherwise. And I'm just saying this out loud because it's something that I needed to hear and I need to remember because if you keep pushing and not giving yourself time to actually like recharge, it's not going to work. The girl whose podcast I listened to just before shared a good analogy. She was just saying that with our cars, when we notice that our petrol is low, we'll go fill it up and we won't let it get to the point of breaking down. So we need to like treat ourselves like that as well and just remember that we need to kind of fill our cup and recharge ourselves before we reach breaking point and break down. And I was like, oh, that makes sense, doesn't it really? Like, why does that analogy like ring true to me? It's a beautiful day today. I'm pretty sure it's like 35 degrees actually. It's a very hot one. So I think we're gonna go down and take some kombucha. Well, I'm gonna take some kombucha and set up an umbrella and just like sit in the shade, honestly. But I'm just keen for that because before we know it, Summer's gonna be over, so I wanna make the most of this weather. We're doing the vlogging on the GoPro. <laughs> I feel like I don't get enough use out of this. But we're heading towards the rock pools to see what they're like, because we never swim at rock pools, but I feel like it might be more my vibe, honestly. A bit more flat. been a day out at the beach which has been really nice we went to the rock pool and then we actually went and met up with some friends because one of our friends was having like a little birthday party for her dog so that was really nice Brayden's patiently waiting right now to grate the cat right you can grate it's fine it's quite loud though <laughs> but yeah we're making dinner now we're making egg roll in a bowl I thought that I would maybe film the recipe I have done this before but it's pretty much not egg in a bowl. The name doesn't really make sense to be honest. Thought we'd make dinner quickly and we might end up going out tonight to the airport. Well, not actually to the airport, but Braden and I have found a spot near the airport where you can watch the planes take off. And a few weeks ago we went there for the first time with Krispy Kremes because it's so close to like this spot. So depending on how we go tonight and how we feel, we might go there and get some Krispy Kremes. We might. I don't know if I want to go now. What do you mean? Depends There's on when no we bites. finish dinner. Okay. I'm just tired. Ugh. So this egg roll in a bowl didn't really go to plan just because we didn't have all of the ingredients, but we made do of what we had. So I chopped up half of this cabbage and this was already half a head. So basically a quarter of a cabbage. Then I diced one white onion. Brayden also grated two carrots. Once everything was chopped up, I left it on the side while I cooked the turkey mince. I probably should have done the onions first, but it's fine. I just did the turkey mince and then added in the onion afterwards as well. Waited till they were like a little bit more browned. Then I added in one teaspoon teaspoon of garlic mince and one teaspoon of ginger and mix that together after that was kind of cooked I added in the vegetables so the cabbage and the carrot waited till these were wilted and then it was time to add in the sauce but this is where I was missing ingredients so as you'll see we didn't have a lot of soy sauce usually I would use so 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 much more than this so I used the remainder and I added some rice wine vinegar and usually I would add sesame oil as well I honestly thought this was going to taste really dry but it actually wasn't so we just served this up with some rice and then we headed to Krispy Kreme. Hey, how are you? Um, do you do half dozen? Half dozen, half dozen right? Yes, please. Yes, sure. Anything else for that? That's it, thank you. Yeah, try to make it. Thank you. Thank no you. Worries. Half a dozen. Half a dozen and the original guys. Hello. Made eye contact with someone out there. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> oh, perfect. Thank you very much. You have a good one. Thank you, same to you. It seems to happen every time. I'm doing something. I right? feel like when we come in the evening, they must be getting rid of their stock or something, so they always give us free donuts. We just got two free donuts. You said we couldn't eat them now, I'm gonna eat them now. Okay, well, we have to eat them now because, like, they're not in a bag. Mm. Mm. Ah! 
but it's okay. Beautiful. This is what we all want our skin to look like. How are you feeling after your Krispy Kremes? Better than when I uh, got here. <laughs> Great response. Braden's sitting here playing on his Game Boy at the moment. Do you want to show them your Game Boy? Oh, here's my Game Boy. <laughs> show and tell. <laughs> But no, you recently got a new Game Boy because like Braden all of a sudden was like, oh, I kind of like want to find my old Game Boy and like revamp it. But then he realized it was completely dead. So he had to get a new one. Yep. And then I made it better. Yeah. You renovated it. I renovated it. <laughs> you revamped it. Anyway, we're just chilling watching the airplanes go by. I swear there's not that many tonight. There's been less, yeah. Yeah. I don't know why there must not be that many airplanes for some reason tonight. But <clears throat> Brayden's going to do some reading while I practice my script for tomorrow. I'm really trying to practice my American accent. I don't know why. It doesn't come super naturally to me, but I've got to remember. It's one of those things that, like, you have to practice. It's not like it's just going to come naturally to you. So my camera died, which is why that clip ended super abruptly, but it's now Tuesday. I've just finished editing this vlog. I'm actually about to go to the hairdressers after this. So yeah, I was going to just get a cut today, but I think I've managed to book in for a tone as well. Hopefully we'll see, but that might mean that this like brassness kind of goes away, but we'll see. I do have another color appointment in a few weeks though. So that's when I'll get like more done to my hair but I'm gonna get a cut as well and I'm really excited I'm gonna ask for like a 90s kind of style cut so rounded layers and I just want long layers I just think it's gonna look nice with a bit more to my hair so when I style it and stuff there's just like more layers so I'm gonna do that afterwards but yeah I just wanted to jump in at the end of this vlog and wrap it up I also just wanted to let you know that I finally finished this book I'm quite a slow reader and when I enjoy a book I really like to take my time with it and this was amazing. I actually think I might have enjoyed it a little bit more than it ends with us and it starts with us. I don't know though because I just feel like I got invested for this story and I got invested for that story and it's just insane how well she writes books. So I'm gonna have to get my hands on another one. I think I might read Reminders of You next. I won't give any like giveaways as to like what the book's about, but I'm sure you guys have heard of Colleen Hoover and you know all about her kind of style of novels, but this was just very romantic, very spicy, <laughs> I guess. And just, a nice escapism I don't know it was very emotional as well like it really got me in all the feels I really like her writing style and how each chapter goes from like the past tense to the present tense and focuses on like different characters and their perspectives I think when I read books like that it just helps me understand that character's POV a bit more but I really enjoyed this one. Let me know in the comments what you guys like to do to relax and recharge I did ask you on my Instagram stories but yeah let me know because it honestly isn't always that simple. I think we know all of like the basic things that we have to do to relax. And sometimes we can feel like we're doing them, but then we don't understand why we're still tired. But like I was saying earlier, there's so many different types of rest and we've got to learn to make sure we're getting the right kinds for what we need. And I think for me, sometimes like I'm like, oh, like I'm really tired. I'm just gonna like watch TV or something. And then after I've watched TV, I still feel tired. And maybe that's because I need sensory rest. I need to stop the overstimulation and like actually give my senses a rest. It's just an interesting way of looking at it, but I'd love to know what you guys like to do. Like what actually makes you switch off and when do you like designate that rest time? Like, do you have strict boundaries with it? I'd love to know. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy and also if you haven't headed over to my podcast and had a listen definitely do so I'll have like the link to my podcast in the description box but by the time this video goes up I think there'll be three episodes up from this new season so hope you guys are loving that as well definitely have a listen but that's gonna be it for this video and I'll see you in my next one bye